Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope well, happy, we well it's weekend now, but happy Wednesday. Um, filming in advance, in case I get busy. So uh, this month's cast iron cooking challenge is breaded meat. And man, I was so excited for it yesterday. I was like, all right, I had a plan in my head. I knew what I was going to do. I knew what I was going to make. Woke up today, thought about it, and just said, ugh, didn't sound good. I hate when that happens, but you know. It just, it is what it is. So I'm going to make a Cuban sandwich instead. So now this is not going to be traditional. Um, there's a burger place like connected to a gas station up north of North Bend. And I just saw a sign on the side of the road that said burgers and barbecue. And I was like, ooh, maybe they have a good pulled pork sandwich. So I stopped after fishing. And uh, I'm looking at the menu and I ordered my sandwich. I'm like, yeah, I want a pulled pork and then I looked at the menu again, and I'm like, you have a Cuban sandwich? And I'm like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I want to change my order. Let's get that. So it was so good. I, I actually went, I drove back because I drove across the parking lot to eat. And I liked it so much, I actually drove back and went back inside and just to tell them how much I liked it. So I was like, who made that sandwich? And the guy's like, uh, me. I'm like, dude, that was a good sandwich. He's like, he kind of lit up like, oh, thanks. I'm like, no, thank you. That rocked. So I'm going to try to recreate it best I can at home. Like I said, don't have total, it's not going to be traditional, but it, as long as it still tastes good, that's all that matters. So I'll quit rambling, let's get to it. Alright, so I have these um, Seattle French dip rolls. Same thing I used for my um, burger dips. Come on, knife. I got it half. All right, so I do a quick ingredient rundown. So it's basically it's bread, which is not traditional, but uh, what would what, what make it traditional is Cuban bread, but I don't know where to get any. I'd have to look around. I, I didn't really look. I forgot to look, and then when I realized it, I was already at the store, so I didn't know where to go. Mustard, dill pickles, not sweet. Sweet pickles are like pineapple on pizza. just doesn't belong. Swiss cheese, ham, and this is on sale. It's the Curly's Sauceless Pulled Pork. Alright, pan's heating up. I got my um, buttered bun. Got about just, just above medium. I'm putting foil on just to kind of trap in the heat and um, warm up the whole bread. Um, I could just use the lid, but I was being lazy and didn't want to dig it out, so I'm just going with it. All right. Nice. Oh, good grill on the bread. Excellent. Turn down the heat to medium. I don't need it ripping hot. I just want to... Because I'm already basically just... And then the pulled pork. And really is like to leave all there. Looks like they like to leave a lot of fat in there. So um, thanks, curlies. That should be enough. Uh, a little bit more. that cooking. Just gonna cook up really quick. So a little mustard on the bun. Swiss cheese for the put it right on the ham. And I'll start the melting process. Oh, you got a key ingredient. Yes. Pickles. And 
course, I have to drop the lid because, you know, why not? We need one thing. Uh, and melt your uh, melt your cheese. Uh, get this pork hot. I mean, it's already fully cooked. I don't have to, uh, you know, grill it or cook it. I just got to heat it up. Get my my pickles on here. Pickles. Just heating up, heating up this pork. Should be about done. Like I said, I'm not really trying to cook it. I'll go ahead and kill the heat. Get this. Get this pulled pork on here. And of course the pork has to fall out. Alright. Make sure that you can see the camera. There you go. All right, let's try it. Mm. Oh yeah. All right, well, clean cutting board. Didn't bother with a plate since uh, I already had it out and it was dirty. Uh, two words, freaking delicious. Really good sandwich. Really tempted to make another one, but I'm kind of at that comfy portion right now. I think if I ate another one, I'd just be propelled right into food coma. So I think I'm going to take the smart route. Just call it one. But uh, it wasn't really as good as the one I had at the uh, shop. But it was damn close. Very good sandwich. Simple ingredients. Simple to make, as you saw. Yeah, recommended. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next week for the cooking videos. And, um, you know, still uploading other content, too. So, see ya.